There are complicated rules on where street vendors can go. Uh, basically, they're allowed to go anywhere unless that street or area has been deemed off limits up to them. And that's a process which, been, uh, which has been happening for 100 years at the behest of the big businesses that in general don't like street vendors there. Uh, and so many, many streets are off limits to vendors. If you, if you see a street which has a fair amount of foot traffic on it, and you say, and there aren't any vendors there, that's the reason, uh, because it's been declared off limits. There's different rules depending on what you sell, where you can and cannot go, but um, that's the general rule. Apart from that, as you would imagine, vendors want to be where the people are, as much foot traffic as possible in general, although that model's changing a little bit. Uh, for example, in the fruit and vegetable business, um, vendors have found that they can go to the neighborhoods more where people might be shopping um, near their home as opposed to what we see more typically, which is the, uh, of the business crowd, uh, vendors being concent uh, concentrated in lower Manhattan, midtown Manhattan. Of course, out of the outer boroughs, it's a little bit different. In the boroughs, uh, uh, you might be able to get by without a vendor's license, or at least you'll be more successful with that. Um, in Manhattan, if you don't have a license, it, you'll, uh, you'll have your cart seized and you'll be arrested rather quickly. In the boroughs, though, um, it's a little less regimented and the enforcement is a little bit less, and so that's why you see the uh, uh, women selling tamales or the guys with boxes of fruit in the summertime. Um, uh, that's where vendors are. Um, uh, uh, one thing you probably don't see is where vendors go at night or where they store their carts at night. The health department says that you have to store your cart in a health department approved garage at night. And there's a certain number of these garages around the city, so that uh, dictates somewhat where vendors can go. If, they're, if it's a small car and they're pushing their car, obviously they have to be uh, close enough to the garage to push it back there at night and in the morning. Um, although, uh, when I come to work in the morning, I live uh, sort of near the Queensboro Bridge, and I see dozens and dozens of coffee bagel carts being towed by vans going out over the bridge. Um, where are they going? They're going to, uh, since they're more mobile, since they're a big a coffee bagel cart being towed by a van, um, uh, those garages are out in the boroughs. There's a couple of them in Long Island City right over the bridge uh, where they sort of specialize in coffee bagel with carts. Um, and I guess the third important place for vendors is, um, is where you bring your cart for inspection every two years. And that's I thought of that a little bit, I think, because of what Joel was saying. Um, there used to be a number of different locations where vendors could bring their carts. Uh, it made it easy for them, especially if you're pushing your cart. There were some places in Manhattan, etc. A lot of the garages um, in Manhattan are on the, on the west side in the 40s and 50s, and as rents have risen there, some of them have been kicked out. But um, now, uh, about two or three years ago, the city closed down the uh, of various locations, now you have to bring your car for inspection to